All right, here's an update since the last video. So the lift, lift is gone, lift is out the way. Um, in the meantime, I finally got my backrest back from TJ from the 300 Club. I got my ice chest rack made. Um, need to power coat it, fix up a couple of welds. Got new fender flares from Greg. Um, these ain't too bad, but I wanted them to be black. And I like the fender flares. I know a lot of people take them off, but see, that's gonna look good. Um, I just got them sitting right here. Um, the front one was gray, so that's mainly why I bought them, and Greg didn't want to sell them separately, so I had to buy a whole new set. Another thing, um, I may end up getting a new, I don't know which one I'm getting yet, but I'm getting a new hook or possibly, hell, I don't know, maybe some synthetic cable. Um, this is cracked on both sides, but I don't know, y'all that are on the 300 Club, they got those hay fabs. Hey, Hayes Fab Lights now, so I got a new grill for that. Um, I might get a new snorkel from Liberty Customs as well. I don't know yet. The only thing I'm not too sure about, and I'm gonna try today and see how I like it. I do not like how the whip lights are at that angle right there. I don't like how far out they are. I don't like how it starts right here. I wish it started from the top. So I'm gonna just move them to here just to see what they look like. I mean, they're probably gonna end up looking a little retarded, a little crazy a little whack but we're gonna see what's up but another reason why i got the new fender flares is because that cut ain't the best in the lift that i had you know i might end up going bigger i, I don't know I, I was talking to uh daniel from liberty customs we, we might go a little bit bigger i don't know it just sucks i, I don't have it here but so i got everything power coated got new spiked lug nuts powder coated got the wheel adapters powder coated um I got my hubs knuckles. Here's my hubs. Show y'all some goodies. I got the brake calipers power coated. Check that out. That ain't that something right there. Everything's ready to rock and roll. Can't wait to put those on. But uh, yeah, I even got the brake calipers, which that was not fun. I don't know if I'd recommend doing that. The putting those back together was a bitch, but it is what it is. But no, what I'm gonna do today is um before i take this rack off because when i go to run the wire oh that's another thing so ever since i sunk the bike the rock lights i don't know if you saw that they were white and they turned green they stay green now um and i got an emergency switch you know you're not gonna be able to see it but i got a red switch up here that don't work and i disconnected the red wire um which doesn't make it work anymore but the next day it worked fine so i figured maybe the short the the button the manual push button was possibly shorting something out but uh nope that wasn't the case now it's not working at all so i got a new controller coming in for that i gotta take the tank off and then because i got my rock light controller right here and then my whip light controller right here i'm gonna replace the rock light controller possibly fix a couple wires dress it up a little bit because i threw i threw that together yeah i mean this is just a little update since uh the last lift that's from a 200 ES Big Red. That's the motor from it. The racks were sitting on front. But uh, yeah, we're just going to change this, see what this looks like before I take that rack off. And might as well bring this because you already know I'm going to grab the wrong one the first time. Yeah, that's a lot tighter. I just think it's going to look a lot better if I put it up top a little bit higher. The problem is the four wheeler, once you put the lift on it, the hand of uh the floorboards about right up here it's about waist height i'm five nine all i know is that these racks whenever the, you got the wheels and tires on are right at four foot three inches um and that was with the eight inch lift and i'm going to just a hair bigger nothing crazy just so everything's legit because i'm trying to fit fox shocks on this and daniel was saying he possibly wants me to go with a taller lift in the front so i don't know he's the next he's the expert so probably just listen to him they used to be mounted right here and i liked how close together they were because it was kind of shoulder width apart i don't like how wide they look i think i'm just being picky gonna take the light whip out make it easier i think i just need to stop being picky and just let it be see what happens damn talk about a four on workout oh yeah it's on there this one bitch barely fits in here Man, i'm not gonna lie though i think i like that better i don't i think i'm gonna still like it if that one was right there too because it's close together and just high as hell it's kind of 
how I like it. Let me just take this one off too, slap it on, put the ice chest on, and then see what it looks like. Only other thing I'm worried about too, and I gotta wait till I get it on, is am I gonna be able to lift the lid up of the ice chest? So that's another reason why I'm doing this before I powder coat it and then run all the wires. So I'll probably end up running all the wires while it's at the powder coat shop. Yeah, it looks about even. It's doing like a like a V thing a little bit where it kind of separates at the towards it. Gets further out. Kind of like that. So the main thing is am I gonna be able to open up the damn ice chest once it's installed? Well, I mean left side could move over a little bit, but hell look at my damn snorkels, they're crooked. Can't tell. <laughs> glancing at it but uh yeah no i like it that tall that's for sure so that's how tall it was no it was taller than that with the lift on it yeah so once i get the lift looks like i'm gonna be hitting the roof i'm gonna have to disconnect them every time i come in but uh as far as ice chest i don't know why i kept water in here okay so here's where she's gonna rest Hmm, I mean, damn. It follows the damn angle of the, you can tell motherfuckers, a little crooked. But uh, this can come down a little bit. Oh yeah, you can see it's crooked, that side's closer. I wish I had tabs on here, but it's all good. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Just tall, skinny, and obnoxious for no reason. And I might end up putting the ice chest the other way. I don't know, that way you can just turn around, grab a drink. Cause the problem is once you put the lift on it, then the ice chest is gonna be right here. Cause that's what sucks. It's an eight inch lift, which bam, there's your eight inches. Well then you got another six inches of lift once you put 37s on it. So bam, this motherfucker, oof. Yeah, it's gonna be tall. That's all right though, I'll make it work. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. I'm just not too big on the wide look. Now it's just time to unscrew a couple of bolts. This is, the part I don't like doing, but it shouldn't take too, too long. Whip light off again. There we go. Now you're not supposed to do this, but I go with it. I know you're supposed to do it hand tight. Don't yell at me. It's all good. Now the fun part that I freaking can't stand. Ain't the easiest thing to do, but it works. Is that bolt gonna move? Oh, all right, cool. I actually need to get some longer bolts. I think all I have is just one 10 millimeter, and it should just fall right off. I'm gonna do this side first since I didn't do that yet. All right, that's pretty loose. One more little yak right here. Yep. Yeah, this one ain't just gonna slide out. I wish it would. That's drilled through. Now I'm gonna try to just take... Okay, that made it worse. So it's hitting those two bolts in the middle right there. Where if this was a gen... That this had a gen one rack, it would just slide out. But I got those bolts in the way, so... Instead of tearing up the powder coat too much, 14 millimeter. Get custom shit, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Get a 300, they said. You'll keep it stock, they said. Definitely don't recommend getting a 300. No, you can get a 300. Don't get on the 300 club. Because then you're going to see everything on there that you want to buy and you're going to end up buying everything everybody's making all right i got it out fucking tearing up well that's one way to get it tore up the power coat pretty good on this side it's off this thing's a bitch to put on not having the right uh right thing i'm thinking about getting that power coat of gray i don't know yet pull this off that joker is on there pretty good, not gonna lie. I forgot I drilled holes all the way through this. All right, shouldn't be no more holes drilled through this bitch. 
Yeah, once that gets powder coated, that ain't gonna be fun to put on. Do this just to keep everything in order, just to have everything. Cause I know in a couple months, I ain't gonna remember I did all this. What you mean, it ain't rocket science either, don't get me wrong. I do need to clean this fooler off. Oh, this fooler, I'm ready to see it done. Yeah guys, that's it for this update. Hopefully next time I'll get something else to mess with a little bit longer. Hopefully by then we'll have the lift, but uh, we'll have to see. But uh, I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay tuned. Please subscribe and uh, see this thing once it gets done. But uh, I'll catch y'all later.